but a statement pant is where you can really start to flex your own personal style. Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Sorry I have been away so long, I am back. I've been posting a ton on TikTok, so go follow me over there as well. I'm gonna be posting really regularly tons of good style advice. If you are new here to the channel, we focus on building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. So if you like the sound of that, consider subscribing. Today we are talking about one of my absolute favorite pieces of clothing, pants. Pants are having a moment right now. They're becoming almost like the focal point of a lot of people's outfits. They're not just a complimentary piece the way that they have been for a long time. So I put together a list of five different pants that everyone needs in their closet in order to be feeling and looking really good. Also be sure you stick around to the very end because if you already have all five that I'm talking about, I'm gonna tell you what else you can be looking for to even further expand your style. Dark jeans. It might be pretty obvious, but denim is not going anywhere, guys. They're an absolute wardrobe staple. Personally, I would always recommend a darker wash, especially if you're only gonna have one pair of jeans that you wear regularly, just because dark is so much more versatile. These are just your perfect, everyday, reliable pants that you can throw on, because they're gonna work with anything from a basic t-shirt and sneakers all the way up to something a little bit more dressy, like a blazer, a sweater, and some boots. Dark jeans are an essential for teens all the way to grandpas, everybody in between. They're all gonna look really great in them. In terms of fit, I would always recommend slim, not skinny, but slim, because that's just gonna be a little bit more flattering. If you are someone who has bigger thighs or you're just a little bit of a bigger person in general, you might wanna consider grabbing a straight fit pair and then tailoring them from the knee down to be a little bit more tapered. That way they're gonna look a little bit more slim on your leg. The next pants everybody needs are chinos. These are just a slightly more dressy step up from jeans. But the great thing is they also are gonna work really well in all of the same casual outfits that you wear your jeans with. And because chinos are oftentimes made from a nice lightweight cotton material, they're gonna be even more comfortable than jeans will be on a really hot day. For fit, I'd say go pretty similar to your jeans, especially if it's your first pair of chinos, but I am also enjoying a straighter or even a wider leg fit with chinos right now. I think it's just really stylish, and if you are looking to be a little bit more fashion forward, this might be a good move to make. Chinos, like I said, are just for those times when you wanna be a little bit more elevated. So something as simple as boots and a button up shirt is a great outfit for like a date night, but you could also wear them with some minimal sneakers, a t-shirt, and a lightweight jacket for a little bit of a different vibe, but it is going to be a little bit more dressy simply because of the fact that you're wearing the chinos. Trousers. These are what to reach for when you want to be even a little bit more dressy than jeans or chinos will allow. Getting a well tailored pair of wool trousers is automatically going to take your outfits to the next level. It's genuinely so simple because you can wear them with a dress shirt and something that's a little bit more formal like dress shoes or you can throw them on with some sneakers and a t-shirt and you're automatically going to look a lot more clean, a lot more put together than you would with either of the other pairs of pants we've talked about so far. I even love trousers with a little bit more of an edgy look like some black boots and a leather jacket. You can get creative and put them in to all different kinds of outfits. Statement pants are where you're gonna really start to differentiate yourself from everybody else because any other style conscious guy is probably gonna have some jeans, chinos, and trousers, but a statement pant is where you can really start to flex your own personal style. And statement is just all about your personal comfort level. So for one person, it might be just a slightly different color than what you're used to, maybe like a green or an orange or something. Whereas for another person that might wanna go even bolder, you could try a wider fit or a bold pattern. There's really no wrong answer with statement pants. It's completely up to you and what you think sounds fun. The beauty of these types of pants is that they're an instant way for you to look a lot more stylish. I did an entire video on them, which I'll link here or here. I can't remember which side it is. I haven't done videos in too long, but you can easily throw them on with a basic t-shirt and boots or sneakers and automatically look a lot better than you would, or just a lot more unique than you would with jeans or chinos or trousers. 
keep the rest of your look pretty neutral or pretty solid colored and really draw all the attention straight to your pants. People are gonna love it. I get compliments on bold pants every single time I wear them because people just appreciate it. Workwear pants are the last style that I think everyone needs in their closet because they're super stylish. They're extremely affordable. I mean, Dickies are like $25, but other brands like Carhartt or Stan Ray are also really good. And they're so well made that you can beat them up and they're only just gonna get more comfortable. My brown Dickies are often what I reach for when I wanna go with an outfit that is a little bit more like outdoorsy inspired, something with a lot of earth tones like this. They're also really great for more streetwear style looks. So maybe a black pair with Doc Martens and a graphic tee and a workwear jacket or a hoodie, whatever you're comfortable with. It's just really nice to be able to have a style of pant that's a little bit different than what everybody else is wearing, but is also still really stylish and functional. And there you go. Five different types of pants that I think everybody needs in their closet to create tons of different outfits. So like I said, if you watch this and you already have everything that I talked about, first of all, well done. But what I would recommend doing now is starting to diversify within each of these individual categories. So maybe try a lighter wash denim or a wider fit of chinos like I talked about, or you know, some trousers in a different color than what you already have. Also, because you've already been dressing yourself within each of these five categories, you're gonna be more comfortable with it and understand how you can combine the rest of your outfit to work with jeans or trousers or the rest of them. I put some links down in the description for you guys if you do wanna grab any of these categories for yourself that you don't already have. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there. And on TikTok, I'm giving you a bunch of different ideas on how I am styling all of these different types of pants. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you are not already, tell a friend about the channel, we are back. I'm gonna be doing normal videos again. Sorry again about the big break, but I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.